It is important to understand what happens in the human brain during orgasm, as it is an important aspect of social life. An orgasm is characterised by a loss of control, feelings of relief and involuntary muscular contractions experienced at the peak of sexual excitement. There are many brain areas involved in the physical and mental aspects of orgasm. The prefrontal cortex is an area of the brain located in the frontal lobe that shows deactivation during orgasm. The dorsal medial prefrontal cortex is one area showcasing this deactivation and is known for the role it plays in moral reasoning, social judgment and self-awareness. It is argued that an orgasm leads to decreases in these three functions. This makes an individual more relaxed, stress-free and impulsive, which all help in reaching and completing orgasm. The orbital frontal cortex, shown in blue, is an area found within the prefrontal cortex. Researchers have found that the orbital frontal cortex shows significant deactivation during orgasm. The lateral orbital frontal cortex demonstrates deactivation and it is argued this represents a person's sexual disinhibition and a lack of sexual restraint. This could explain why people describe a loss of conscious control while experiencing an orgasm. Neurotransmitters and hormones are also shown to have an impact on the orgasm. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter believed to be involved in a number of mechanisms. A simplistic but effective explanation is that dopamine is prosexual, meaning it promotes orgasm. Research supports this theory, with studies showing increased dopamine activity in the lower brainstem for males and in the nucleus accumbens for females during orgasm. Oxytocin is a hormone involved in the regulation of social interaction and sexual reproduction. Studies have found oxytocin levels are increased during orgasm. It has been suggested this strengthens the emotional ties between partners. One theory for why this occurs is that it was related to the perception of the relationship for women and physical performance for men. Research has also shown that the brain can work independently of the genitalia to generate an orgasm. Women have reported experiencing orgasms through stimulation of the breasts and nipples, and this is believed to be due to the sensory information of these areas projecting the same neurons that receive sensory information from the genitals. Another type of non-genital orgasm are orgasmic auras, which are orgasmic feelings just before the onset of an epileptic seizure. These types of orgasms do not occur due to genital stimulation and are instead either spontaneous or triggered by a specific stimulus or event. Orgasmic auras seem to originate from the right temporal lobe, suggesting this area plays a role in orgasm experiences. In conclusion, understanding what occurs in the brain during orgasm is important as it helps us to understand motor movement, relationships and emotions.